G'day Martin. How Hello, you going, very, good. very nice to meet you. Very good. Hello and welcome to RSA 2023 here in San Francisco. My name's Chris Cubbage, I'm the editor with the Australian Cyber Security Magazine. I'm joined by Martin Zugek, who is a senior technical director uh, with Bitdefender. Martin, thanks for joining us. Thanks for welcoming me. Uh, Bitdefender, we've, I've done interviews with Bitdefender in the past. Maybe introduce us to your role with Bitdefender and then we'll talk a little bit about your takeaways from RSA. Okay, sounds good. So my, my job is technical solutions director. Yep. A lot of what I do is understanding the threat actors, the threat landscape, what are the new trends, what's happening in the field. Yep. So I'm working very closely with the Bitdefender Labs, our hardcore security researchers. Yes and I'm, I'm responsible for evangelizing that research, publishing it, giving the context, background information to it yep. and so on. Any, any sort of new trends within TTPs or anything like that that you are going, wow, this is new? Yes. Things like you know, AI using chat GPT kind of things or yeah, what, what's kind of tactics to, techniques that they're changing? So that's also part of my job is understanding what are more like experiments yep. and like a niche prototypes yep. and what are the trends that are more like staying under the radar but are actually like more dangerous. Yep. One of the things that we have been observing for the last two years is the new trend of uh, hybrid attacks. So we released the research actually during the RSA related to one of the state sponsored groups that adopted this technique as well. Right. The idea is uh, threat actors are looking for vulnerabilities like Log4j, Microsoft Exchange, anything that is impacting like thousands or tens of thousands of systems. They are building automated scanners, identify yeah. vulnerable systems, compromise them, and the reason why we call them hybrid attacks, this is like fully automated phase, and then after some time they switch to the manual phase when someone will connect to that system. Is it automatically creating an intrusion and it will yeah. just sit there? Yeah. yeah, so it's pretty much compromise, use the vulnerability, implant so the backdoor. So there could be thousands yes. of... Yes, and there absolutely yeah, are. Right. Okay, and uh, just sitting there waiting for them to suddenly turn it on. So waiting for the manual triage phase, yep. when someone will log on to those system and figure out who is this company, what is the cyber insurance, are they working in manufacturing, yep. then we deploy ransomware, are they legal, healthcare, data exfiltration. So we were talking, we've spoken to a number of companies today and even during the week, but should, they, should that intrusion be detectable? Should they be able to pick that up if it's there and sitting there? Particularly if it's a log4j kind of vulnerability. So, yes. And that's, <laughs> again, like another part of my job is like understanding how these attacks are working. Yep. For example, talking about vulnerability exploits, the best prevention is patching. Yep. Got it. As soon as there is vulnerability, patch it immediately, you are safe. Two trends that we are observing, the first one is the time when the professional threat actors deploy these automated scanners is shortening. So the Bella Chow research that we presented here, the threat actor group, the Charming Kitty, associated with Iran, yep. with Log4j, it took them about a month to weaponize it. With the new vulnerabilities, it's down to like 24 hours. Right. So we are seeing the window that you have to patch all your system is really shortening. Uh, the second related thing is that we are seeing a lot more attacks now where the small company is compromised yep. and then it's used to supply upscale chain, the attack right. supply Got chain, it. exactly. Got it. Okay, what's your key takeaway from RSA? Is this, this is not your first, I'm assuming. No, it's not. No. Uh, so what, what's a good takeaway that you've got this week? So it's for me personally, yeah. it's always, I'm looking for networking yep. and I'm pretty much looking for two different things. First one is talking to people and ask them, asking them what are the problems that you are facing. So getting feedback from the field, essentially. Yeah. The second is like, as I was saying, we are publishing the research here. We are also talking to people what we are seeing and asking them like, are you aware of this? Are you doing something? What security controls are you using? And so on. Right. So we see it as like two way communication, but as every single RSA, this is about networking. Beautiful. Martin, thank you so much for joining us on My Security TV. Thank you. Thank you.